Last time on No Direction Home, Hopper and I made it to Austin, where we got some much needed Texas barbecue and live music. So I'm um, continuing through West Texas on my way to El Paso. I stopped to get some gas and some breakfast. Um, today I'm gonna pass through the Guadalupe Mountains National Park and uh, there's a couple of stops I'm gonna make and check out a few things. Uh, temperature's a little bit warmer today which makes uh, the ride a little bit easier but um, it should be a good ride. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the Guadalupe Mountains. So on to El Paso we go. Visitor Center. City, Texas. Yeah, sure. Population um, 439. A little bit over. I don't know. 
I saw the sign said 439 on my way in. Yeah, it's, it's 440 if you're counting. No, 441 if you're counting two guests. <laughs> El Paso, that's where I'm headed next. Yeah. Where are you from? Ohio. Wow. So. You drove all the way from over there? How long did it take you to get from over there? I've been on the road for about two months. Wow. Yeah. Holy smokes. So I'm in uh, Dell City, Texas, and I stopped at this uh, cafe and was talking to the people here, and Ken was nice enough to buy me a beer. Ken really appreciated it. He was giving me some tips on some areas I can ride around here. and. He's headed back to, you want to do El Paso? El Paso, yeah. Okay, so uh, we're headed to the same spot, but he's going to get there a little bit quicker. Yeah, I'm a little bit faster than you. <laughs> well, I appreciate the uh, hospitality, the kindness. You're welcome. Very welcome. Stay safe. Yes, sir. Thanks for, the, uh, thanks for the tips. And enjoy your ride. I will, absolutely. Patricia was just telling me that she met Billy Corrigan from the Smashing Pumpkins. What happened? Well, he was in here eating. Um... And how was he? Was he a nice guy? Oh, yes. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, he's very, very tall. Yeah. Well, of course. It was last summer. It was last Not summer? This past summer, but last year. Okay. And it was kind of cool because he told me he felt so comfortable because nobody was bothering him. Anymore. Yeah. So wow. we went up there. That's uh, him, Billy Corrigan. Yes. Uh, I approached He's a very him. famous yes, musician. He's very nice, too. And I said, you know, the ladies over there recognize mm. you. Do you mind taking a picture? He goes, Not at all. That's so cool. Then and since our cafe doesn't get overly full, he was very comfortable talking to them. That's great. Good so for you guys. Really nice. Cool story. Mm -hmm. We actually are one of our residents is a, one of the first Dixie chicks that ever, I mean, well, that started the group. Oh, really? Her She's from Del City. Laura Lynch. She's very shy, though. She doesn't. She lives she, here now? Yeah, she lives here. She's the one who owns the Airbnbs. Oh, okay. The real nice ones that are back here. So I'm in Dell City and I stopped by the Spanish Angel Cafe and I met Patricia and Joe and they were nice enough to tell me a little bit about Dell City. They have a they have a ledger of all the people on the BDR that BDR. drive through and they've been nice enough to help people even when they get injured, right? Injured yeah, on their yeah. bikes. So this is the uh, popular waypoint for people. Beautiful cafe. Thanks for your hospitality. It was nice meeting you both. Take care. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Oh, we have to do fist bumps. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fist boom. Bump. Boom. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Right, thanks. Thank you. Merry Christmas. So I made a uh, gas stop in this small town called Dell City, Texas. The population is like 496 or something. And uh, I was just kind of checking. I mean, let's see. We got a one street town here. This is it. Here in the middle of Dell City. And uh, there's this Spanish restaurant called the Spanish Angel. And I just decided to pop in and, and uh, see what was going on. And then, you know, consistent with the rest of my trip, we stopped at these little places and ended up having a great conversation. They have a ledger in there of a bunch of people. There's part of the BDR register here. Uh, and so there's a ledger of people that have been coming and stopping this all the way back to 2015. Nice conversation with the owners and, and a couple of other guys. Great people, great spot. So glad I stopped. Um, but now I'm going to continue on to. Uh, Mexico, which is about
miles north of the U.S. Mexico border. Stopped at the uh, borderline, borderland cafe. There's not a whole hell of a lot going on here, but uh, well, they do have a water tower. Uh, gonna get a cup of coffee and something to eat. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Good. <clears throat> Hi, how are you? Um, do you guys have hot drinks? Coffee yeah. or yeah, coffee. I'll have a uh, coffee. Okay. And uh, uh what did you order? The burgers are good. So we heard the enchilada fries are supposed to be. What is that? The enchilada fries are good. Yeah. Okay, well, well, we'll we'll try an order of those. Okay. And then, uh, How's it going today? Good. Is it free out there on the bike? It is pretty cold. <laughs> I I mean, uh, I've been traveling uh, for a long time, and when I got here and started driving across Texas into Mexico. I was pretty surprised at how cold it was. Yeah. I'm in the desert, but it's freezing. Right, right. Do you guys just use your truck or do you also have ATVs? We got, yeah, ATVs, horse control. We used to have bike control. And uh, what else do we have? And we got helicopters. And yeah, sure, you got the whole thing. Has your have you noticed any impact on your job during COVID? Like in terms of more more work, less work, or has it been any different? More, more work. More work? Yeah. yeah. More work, and now if, uh, if, they, uh, if they put Biden in the it looks like it's going to get worse. Yeah. Uh, more, more more activity work. on the border, or more work? Well, more work because uh, caravans are going to start coming. Really? Yeah, because he already promised them like an amnesty. So that means everybody's gonna start going it's gonna get crazy. Do the do border agents traditionally, regardless of their politics, do they think that Trump was doing a good job of along the border? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Yep, yep. Is this is this mine, ma'am? Yes, that's it. Okay. Well, it was a real pleasure talking to you guys. Uh, sure. and best of luck, and please stay safe and be careful. And yeah, thanks. So, I'm here at the uh, Borderland. Borderland Cafe. I'm here at the Borderland Cafe, and I met Paul and Lorenzo. These guys are sheriff department, and uh, we were just talking about their work and how hard they're working, and. Just wanted to give you a shout out and say thanks for your efforts. Please keep doing your job. You and do well Thank and stay you, safe out there, okay? Yes, sir. Well, and uh, things okay. are going to improve. And you they, they will. Keep it up, yeah? Okay. All right, stay have safe. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Just got it. All right, Brother. have a good one. Okay, yeah, Take have care. a good one. Yeah. All right. Great. All right. Thanks, man. You be safe on that. All right, I will. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> never never, uh, never get tired of meeting guys. The bike, the bike is uh, it's a great conversation piece, you know? Guys, uh, people love to come up and talk to you uh, especially law enforcement um, ask you questions about the bike and you end up just meeting these you know great guys all over the country and this is no different I'm in a small town in New Mexico just stop to get a cup of coffee and uh, end up talking to some border patrol agents some sheriff's department and uh, they're all doing the best they can trying to do their jobs and stay safe and you know regardless of your feelings about politics or social issues when you meet these guys face to face you realize that they're just doing the best they can They got their side-by-sides going out to go to work. Wish I could go ride with them, but another time. All right, on to uh, Silver City, New Mexico.
Long day. Time for me and Hopper to have a drink. Next time on No Direction Home. Hopper and I make our way through New Mexico into Arizona, make some new friends along the way, and find some beautiful Arizona back roads.